So, the Power Line Southern Command and Naval Expeditionary Force is finally back from South America. And over the next few days, I'll be rolling out some excerpts of the remarks from several of the speakers on the cruise, including Hillsdale's president, Larry Arn, economic historian John Steele Gordon, and David Price Jones, among others. But we'll begin today with some exclusive remarks from Bing West, the former Assistant Secretary of Defense in the Reagan administration and the author of several books, including his recent one on Afghanistan entitled The Wrong War. Uh, so why is it The Wrong War? Well, The Wrong War, because our strategy of nation building was simply wrong in a country with 31 million people who are hurtling headlong into the ninth century. It, it was the wrong strategy for the generals to choose. I apportion more responsibility to the generals because they were the professionals. They should have known better than to tell our Marines and soldiers that they were expected to be nation builders. That was impossible. I think that the war could not be lost and therefore you had over 10 general officers in a row who were failing, who didn't recognize they were failing. And so every one of them said, I'm winning. But it was a preposterous notion to begin with. And as professionals, I think they had the duty at some point to stand back and ask, have we taken on an impossible mission? So how do we get out? Well, you just get out a bit at a time and you don't make any big deal of it because regardless of what happens in Afghanistan we're not going to have terrorists seizing Kabul. You could have a civil war, you could have a total mess over there but our objective is to prevent terrorist attacks against the United States and in the end if things go badly you simply say I'm not going to accept any visa from uh, Afghanistan. We, in my judgment, performed less capably than we did in Vietnam because we took, and the military took its eye off the ball. The military's mission from the first day should have been to train an indigenous military and get out, not do anything else. That should have been the heart of their mission. And we went almost 10 years before the current general, General Allen, made that the mission. We just wasted a decade because we always thought it was so easy and every commander going into combat wanted a chance to show how good he was at commanding troops. And that wasn't the mission. The mission always should have been simply train an indigenous force and get out. Don't, don't get into economics. Don't get into politics. But we did. So stay tuned to Powerline and we'll have more from Bing West and others.